Good morning. Uh, another message from the MHSAA. I hope everyone's had a great summer. The summer seems to be getting shorter and shorter uh, as we're about to kick off the 23-24 uh, sports and activity seasons uh, here in our state. Just a few reminders this morning. Remember to get on the website and look at uh, our heat index module there. To, if the heat index is up 105 degrees or greater, you will need to move practices inside or stop practices. And we have an outline there for everything. This is mandated now by our sports medicine committee. Uh, so that is no longer just a uh, precautionary thing it is mandatory that we do this so uh, that is all online and it will also be handed out in your packets at the district meetings this year uh, and while we're talking about those they begin next week I uh, would encourage all principals ADs and head coaches to be there there will be a, a great deal of information given out about all the new rules and regulations that have been passed and I say all oh, it's not that many but there there are some changes and I just encourage you to be there and remind you that if your school is not represented at the district meeting there is a fine uh, accompanied uh, with that so check with your district secretary find out the date and make arrangements for someone to be there another reminder is Beginning uh, in August, uh, we will start our 7A classifications. So this has uh, changed a, a lot of our classifications and a lot of new regions. Uh, we hope it creates a lot of new rivals and that everyone has made the competition uh, closer or, or better competition for a lot of our schools. So uh, just a reminder on that. Some of the changes that I haven't talked about earlier, uh, bowling, uh, it is, uh, we met with the bowling committee and then presented this to the executive committee and it was passed. There will no longer be a Baker set uh, in bowling competition this year. So, and details of that are, are in our handbook also, but I wanted to uh, personally let you know that before uh, it gets out in the handbook and you just read it. Also, there has been a change in our tennis format over the years. There's been a lot of controversy with our seating committee for our individuals. Uh, how do you seed them? Who seeds them? How can you seed them? And uh, I, honestly, I did not have answers for those questions. So here's our answer and this has been passed by the executive committee. Uh, after consulting with uh, some of the tennis coaches around about the state also. There will be no seating committee for individual tennis beginning with this year. We will be taking the same number of individuals from your region tournament, but they will be bracketed and the brackets will rotate. So no seating this year. Uh, we'll just take the top two and bracket them and good luck to to everyone on uh, also along with that uh, the semifinals this year of what has been referred to as the north south finals uh, will no longer be held we will be bringing all of those teams to uh, our two sites and we will have our semifinals and finals all at a neutral site so these are some exciting changes in tennis that we think will help the sport uh, and and make it grow and then a reminder that we are taking four playoff teams in our sports this year so so hang in there uh, for these playoffs also just a reminder that next week are the uh, Mr. Mims has the MAC clinic uh, for the coaches clinic uh, we do do our rules interpretations there for each sport that are mandatory for each head coach so I would encourage you to, if you uh, attend that clinic, to be at the, your appropriate sports rules committee session. Uh, if you cannot be present at these, these will be offered online uh, in the weeks preceding the clinic. Uh, head coaches, you have to have attended these rules clinics before you 
are allowed to coach in your first game. Also, I've already mentioned the district meetings, but just a reminder that at our district meetings is when we recognize the MHSAA Coaches of the Year in each sport. So we will be recognizing them at your appropriate uh, district meeting. Make sure you have your emergency action plans uh, on file and updated. I cannot emphasize enough. Uh, one of our main emphasis this year is going to be on compliance and safety. Uh, we are, uh, we will go in detail on compliance at another time, but what is expected, uh, not just expected, but what is mandated for each sport before the, their first game. And we will start with the fall sports first, of course. And uh, all this information has to be in Dragonfly before game one, or you, you're not eligible to play. This is becoming more and more important uh, to make sure that all students are eligible because of safety concerns and because of insurance uh, possibilities and liability. So it, it, we, we live in a very litigious society where anybody can sue you and will sue you. Uh, I spent 12 hours in a courtroom with attorneys on Wednesday of this week. Uh, simply over liability over an injury. Uh, it was a terrible accident. It was unavoidable, but there was a lawsuit. So we have to be very careful about this, and, and I will be warning uh, ADs, principals, and superintendents that every time I get a chance to speak with them to make sure that you have your uh, stands covered and your field covered and that you are in compliance everywhere because someday, somewhere, someone is going to sue you and you can take that to the bank. Uh, appreciate everything you do and support for what is your association. We're here to serve you. If you have any questions, you can contact us here at the office. Uh, most of you or all of you have our cell phone numbers. Uh, we're easily reached. And uh, good luck to you, and thank you for what you do.